What is going on everyone? I am Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24 7 TV. I'm glad to have you back here today. Now we are gonna unbox a brand new accessory. This is the MX Keys for Mac. It's made by Logitech. Now what it does is it allows you to go ahead and connect to multiple computers at once. And I'm gonna use this to replace my Magic Keyboard from Apple for my Mac Mini. But I'm also gonna go ahead and replace the Magic Keyboard while I'm at my desk for my iPad Pro. And that's because I really enjoy having a full-size keyboard. So in today's video, we are gonna unbox the MX Master Keys for Mac and see how it works with the Mac Mini, with the iPad Pro. Let's get started. Now, before we get into the review, if you are new here, consider hitting subscribe, turning on notifications, because I like making iPad videos, iPad accessories, iPad builds, all the iPad videos. And if you like that type of content, you don't wanna miss out. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is the MX Keys for Mac by Logitech. It is $99 and there's a number of different websites that you can find it on. I'll put a link down in the description below. Now, this keyboard is specifically designed for Mac and it differs from its counterpart by three keys. There's the control option command, which are gonna be specific to this keyboard. Now, the other version that which it works with Windows, it doesn't really differ from a functionality perspective. It does differ from an aesthetic perspective where this keyboard is going to be gray and black. The other keyboard is more like a dark gray. Uh, I don't necessarily care for it, but it's something that you might wanna go ahead and consider if you find yourself using both a Mac and a Windows machine. Now this keyboard allows you to go ahead and switch between three different devices, either using Bluetooth low energy, which works out of the box or the included dongle. Now for me, I'm using this with the Mac mini and it does have some Bluetooth issues. So I'm using the dongle just for better connectivity. But when I have it paired to my iPad Pro, I use obviously Bluetooth. Now, the reason why I purchased this is because when I am at my desk, I like to use this stand here. This is the Sateki aluminum stand. It's around $45. Uh, this version actually just came out, but I, I have another version right here, which I like stands. I don't know what it is. Now, when I'm at my desk, I like to go ahead and put this in a certain orientation. And because I have it in this orientation, the Magic Keyboard doesn't really make sense. Uh, it's in portrait orientation and you can't have the Magic Keyboard. So I like to have it uh, sitting like this because it's easy for me to glance at, look, get information from and move back to. Now with this keyboard, I can easily switch from my Mac mini on interface one to my iPad pro on interface two. And if I want to connect this to my windows machine for work, I certainly could and use that on interface three. It works very similar to all the other MX series of products, much like the MX master for Mac uh, mouse that, that's available. Now what's unique about this is that you can not only you know, pair to three different devices, use the unifying receiver if you want to, use Bluetooth Low Energy if you want to, but there are these spe uh, specific iOS function keys, which makes iOS more usable, and that's what I want, right? I wanna be able to be more productive when I'm using my iPad here at my desk. Now, not only can you use the, the you know, the, vo uh, the volume, the brightness, uh, iOS function keys, the lock and unlock, but you also can do the screenshot function key, which is gonna be F17. That is a lifesaver for me. You push that one button, it takes a screenshot. Uh, you can use the lock button, the media controls button. So there's a lot of utility from my perspective in this keyboard for that. Now I was previously using full-size Magic Keyboard while I was sitting at my desk and I had to have a separate keyboard for my iPad, which didn't make a lot of sense. And like I said, since I use it in a stand, that's to me makes the most sense for me because I don't have to have multiple things in my desk and I try and keep my desk as clean as possible even though sometimes that's not really an option. Uh, so that for me is why I chose this. Now, in terms of battery life, this lasts about 10 days. It does charge via USB-C and there's a cable included inside the box. Uh, for the most part, if you turn backlighting off, you're gonna get better battery life than with, bat than with backlighting turned on. Now this entire keyboard is gonna have all butterfly switch keys, meaning that you should have a great typing experience no matter the type of typer that you are. Now for me, I'm someone who can get used to typing on a keyboard in 15 to 20 minutes, and that same lays true here for this keyboard. I think it's a great typing experience. Now, all the keys themselves are individually backlit, and there's also a sensor on the keyboard that will turn on the backlighting depending on how close your hand gets to the keyboard itself. Now, in my experience, that proximity sensor is a little bit too aggressive, and I would suggest turning it off because you'll get way more than 10 days of usage suggested by the manufacturer. Now, if you're like me and you're coming from the Magic Keyboard, there is gonna be a different experience with the Logi. I will tell you that it is quieter, but you can be the judge for yourself.
Now, what is really nice here is that this top row of function keys, they're gonna be usable whether you're on the iPad or whether you're on Mac OS. Now, Logitech does offer software called Logi Options and allows you to go ahead and further customize these keys. Like for example, uh, if I wanna go ahead and take a screenshot, which is F17, I can go ahead and hit F17. And if I pre-customize the key, I can choose to go ahead and take the full file. I can take to take the full screenshot, to go ahead and take a, a, a portion of the screen, to go ahead and copy to my clipboard. It really offers a lot of versatility in terms of this keyboard because I take screenshots all the time, not just on my Mac, but on my iPad. And this is kind of a, a very helpful addition instead of me had, having to hit Command Shift 5 or Command Shift 4 to go ahead and tape, uh, take a screenshot. Now, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself whether or not spending $99 on this keyboard, the MX Keys for Mac, is going to be worth it when there are a ton of other options on the market, especially keyboards that are Bluetooth, keyboards that allow you to go and connect to multiple devices. Now, I would say that at $99, this is going to be worth it for a couple of reasons. So one, it's going to be the integration. So if you have another Logitech product like the MX Master, definitely adds a lot of versatility into your setup because it has a lot of the same kind of features where you can go ahead and customize you know, key clicks based on the application, you want to have them system-wide on the Mac specifically. Now, second thing is going to be the unifying receiver. Uh, most of the keyboards that I have come across function well with Bluetooth on the Mac, uh, on the Mac Pro. But the unifying receiver, since it's bypassing that functionality, it's keyboard and the mouse are connecting directly to the unifying receiver, it doesn't use Bluetooth. Now, in that regard, I think those two things make the keyboard worth it itself. But I would love to know from you, which keyboard are you using? If you're looking for a Bluetooth keyboard, is this in your consideration pool? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, I am Mike. This is Tech 24-7 TV. Guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.